We are back home in Utah. We are trying to soak up all of the fun before we head back out on the road. So what's today, fam? Lagoon! Lagoon! Lagoon. Well, so, we have is, a pretty decent what is amusement. A ginormous amusement park. Ginormous. Oh, some ginormous. I would put it on scale with like Knott's Berry. Like as big as Knott's Berry? Oh heavens no. Oh. The crazy thing though is it's been around since 1890 something. Oh, yeah. I like this, I had no idea it was this old. It is? It's way old. That's why there's Pioneer Village. So we'll take you around with us to see the park. Um, surprisingly for a little park, they have some incredibly fun rides and some big coasters. One Decent of them. green space too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But... Uh, one of the coasters that's like their most popular is called Cannibal. So Cannibal is super fun because it has a really big drop, but it has an inverted drop. And so it was actually like the world's biggest inverted drop when it was built. I'm sure it's going to be right now. Wasn't it rated yeah. though like is like one of the top roller coasters or something? When it, I mean, it's so funny because the us like the new roller coaster, but I think it's been for like seven years. <laughs> it now. totally has. It has. It totally has. <laughs> they actually yeah, have okay. a newer one. We haven't ridden yet, but it's open. Uh, it's not open. Oh, it's running when we went drop by it the other yeah, day. They, they might be running. Right 2024 yeah. is what they said on their stuff. That's so too bad. Know. Anyway, uh, we had season passes for a couple years and we lived right in the area. We had some fun there. We're excited to go now that the littles are old enough or tall enough to ride some of the bigger rides that they had to miss out on. So not cannonball. We're making not him for me. We're making Never him see. ride. The it's rule is you have to ride good. every ride that you're tall enough for. It's That's not the rule. cannonball I'm a anyway. It's to cannibal. Rip ride. I have the drama meme. I've got drama meme oh, yeah, ready so good. that I can uh, good. I forgot about that. Oh thank you Dad. enjoy. <laughs> So you can take in food and stuff, but we're just... Actually, let's talk about that, because one of the things that's cool about Lagoon is that you can bring in food-wise pretty much anything you want, including alcohol. Mm -hmm. So uh, they've got a ton of spaces where you'll see coolers where people just fill them up, they leave them there. So if you want to go and not spend a fortune on food... It's nice you take Fortune! It. Fortune! Then you can uh, bring a cooler I have a feeling that we're going to end up at Arby's, because that's Lagoon. Cool. Lagoon also inside. has its own but they do park. have a beer garden there. They have a water park there. Hey, don't give it all away. Oh, let's just go. Don't we'll give it all you. away. Let's hit let's it. Let's go. We've arrived at the park. Really yeah, easy to get to. Big white roller coaster first. Let's go on the white roller coaster, which used to be white but is now all brown. It smells just like how yeah, it is. And it's, uh, it's all wood, super rickety. It's you know, like the supposed to give you like that scary feeling. But we still need to grab our tickets at the ticket office. Uh, tickets are $100 per person per day. Oh, that and video uh, that gets you access to most things. They do have a couple things you can pay extra for, like the slingshot thingies and the sky coaster thingy. Anyway, uh, we're going to grab our tickets and head inside. amusement park that we grew up in and and there's always like every time I come the first ride I go on is always the same always. and my kids don't know what it is but they're about to find out I forgot. and let's just say they're going to be very pleasantly surprised you think they'll be pleasantly oh, surprised Roxy knows it how did oh, you know I'm it not going on yeah. 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 There you go. So, this yeah. ride for some reason is a year-round sort of haunted house kind of ride and it's it's amazing there it is it's the terror ride you can see how terrifying it is you can tell by this mural behind me that has a dragon but it's got a dragon and I don't know. It looks like it was made by a junior high school kid, but this ride's amazing. I'll film this whole ride. 
farewell. Oh my gosh. When I sit in the center. Hey, I said farewell. Hello, <laughs> you deadly chills. Please remember to stay seated. Keep arms and legs inside the car at all times. And do not stand up. You can thank me later. God, that was so scary. It's filming, go ahead. Definitely we just went down. We just went through the biggest the colossus in the whole park twice. Look at that. Dale. Make sure to go on the This is actually ride. not the biggest roller coaster in the park. It is a very old roller So we got, uh, if you can see there, double loops, a bunch of swirls. This roller coaster has been here for as long as I can remember. Yeah. Um, Make sure to not stick your hands up. view of it right there. So they do have quite a few roller coasters here. They're not huge. It's not like Knott's Berry Farm, but they are fun. And, and it's great for younger kids too, if they don't want to do stuff that's enormous. So I think it's a really, really fun time. Finish the ride. What ride did we just finish? Wicked. It's that big one right behind us. Not the blue one, but the green one where you can see it goes straight up. And uh, you were excited to go, yeah? You said right after you wanted to go no, again. No, no, no. It's like, I, it's like hyperspace now. So we've hit up all the roller coasters in this quadrant, uh, which is used to be like the only part of the park that had roller coasters. Now they've added quite a few away from here. But we're going to go watch the Magic Show, which is uh, you know just one of the shows that they do. And then after that, maybe we'll grab some lunch and hit some more rides. Watch this magic show. Apparently, the kids get to go up and and uh, test out the, the bricks. He said. So we're gonna go over and uh, and let them do that. What did you guys do? Do you want to at least explain? We just saw what? Okay, so we just saw this guy with the 10 foot box on each side. He put these drapes over it. And you know, I thought it was just going to be a person when he pulled it out. So this box is completely flat and he pulls it off and there's a helicopter with a person sitting in it. Is the magic show worth watching at Lagoon? Yes. Is it a good way to kind of break Definitely up the day? Just it. come in, get some nice AC. So we go in, sit. Maybe buy a a lot of kids rides here like little little kids so if you're coming and you have from little kids up to teenagers you're gonna find plenty of stuff to do their kids land is kind of right here in the middle uh, it's planned out really well you can see the giant shoe uh, all kinds of kids rides behind us but they've got uh, treats and snacks right around these kid rides as well as a bathroom uh, and water and so if you are going to come and you want and you have little kids, this is a great place to bring them because it's an easy way for them to take some rides, to have fun while maybe the older kids and adults go out and do some bigger roller coasters. Some lunch. Our friend that works here said the best place to eat is the beer garden. So we're going to go to the beer garden for lunch. I don't know what they have. I don't know what's available, but 
when the employee tells you it's the best place, I usually just listen to that. And I believe she actually did work in the beer garden. So they do have tons of places to eat. You can get everything from Mexican food, pizza, you can get snacks, treats. It's all pretty like typical uh, amusement park prices, but really good. We did buy this cup. The cup was kind of expensive, but you can refill it for 99 cents. So if you're a season pass holder, it would be worth absolutely every penny. Uh, for one day, we'll definitely make our use out of it because we are going to spend the entire day here. And the beer garden was super good. To feed a family of five, we spent about $65, which is pretty average for a, a place like this. But the food was tasty. Now we're going to go and hit uh, some of the smaller coasters. And I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It's not a busy day here at all, which is fantastic. Lines have been minimal. But we may go over, they've got one, uh, their newest roller coaster, it's about six, seven years old now, it's called Cannibal which has some really cool drops in it. Um, it's got an inverted drop. It can go upside down two or three times. So a lot, a lot of fun. But we gotta find some of our Ninos. One of the things they love about being back here is they have friends here. So we've got, uh, I don't know, two or three different friends we've met up with here. Most of the kids have dispersed to go on rides with them. Anyway, we'll uh, hit up some more stuff. Maybe we'll head over to Pioneer Village actually after this. They do have a, like a river ride and you get kind of wet in it. Wouldn't be a bad way to cool off. We started today in the southwest corner of the park where there's a bunch of roller coasters. I just rode the, the uh, Sky Ride, I don't know what it's called, the like Ski Lift, over to the northwest corner. And so we've kind of explored these two parts. The kids and the misses are about to ride on Cannibal, which I believe is the biggest roller coaster they have here. So I think it's where you can kind of see some of it. So it goes up that giant tube. Then it drops you out on an inverted drop. You do a few loops, a few corkscrews. Pretty wild ride, really. So the youngest is trying to wimp out. The wife won't let him. And uh, we'll see how it all pans out. Four. 
The kids got bashed up real good on the bumper cars. <laughs> we just, I just bashed them basically to bits. Next. In fact, they probably need to go to the chiropractor to get their whiplash taken care of, huh guys? Instead, we'll ride the Jetstar and just add to it. But no, this is the Jetstar 2, which nobody's ever been able to say if there's such thing as a Jetstar 1. Maybe it burned down when they had their big fire in the 50s. But it's this roller coaster right here. It's a very interesting one. It's like a, uh, I don't know, it's like a carnival type roller coaster and it beats you senseless. So we're gonna ride it and go get beat up on, I guess. It's a fun one though. So this part of the park now, we're actually up in the north east corner. That's where you're going to find all of the picnic areas. There's tons of tables. There's ample shade. We just learned something very saddening. They used to have a log flume here forever and ever and ever. We would do the log flume and it's gone. Anyway, they have a water park here. Uh, we've decided not to do it just because it takes. You have to change and go in and everything. They don't heat their water. So on a very, very hot day, which here it can be like exceptionally hot, it's a great place to cool down. Not in the mood for it today, it's not going to. Uh, we are gonna go to Rattlesnake Rapids, which is a, a tube ride, and go have some fun there. Pioneer Village is a great place to get a snack. They have an Arby's, they have a whole bunch of other like food stores and candy shops, ice cream, um, set up like an old, town in the west as you can tell it is definitely a fun place to walk through if you're into it if it's your thing you can get an old western photo here as well at the old uh, shop but throughout here you will find all kinds of treats and souvenirs knickknacks and whatnot food wise too the food in um, Pioneer Village is really good and pretty reasonably priced. So it's barbecue basically. So you can get like that trailblazer meal, which is two meat items, two sides, and roasted corn. It's gonna feed probably two adults, definitely two to three kids for 20 bucks. So we've gotten food here uh, several times in the past. It's always pretty good. It's not gonna blow your mind. It's not the best barbecue you've ever had, but it's really tasty. They've got cheeseburgers and hamburgers and all kinds of stuff. So Pioneer Village is cool. Let's flip around though. We'll show you some of the water slides. So that's the water park. It's right in the middle of the resort. Easy to get to. It's a lot of fun if you have uh, the time or if again you're a season pass holder. There were days that we would come and just do the water park only. In the line for Rattlesnake Rapids, it's extremely long. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. How did Rattlesnake Rapids go? Cooled off. You get really I wet. Get them all. You're ringing out. Here, give me your shirt. I'll share. Not my muscles. Gotta ring it out. Yeah. Yeah. This one just always wants an excuse to pop his shirt off. You get really wet. The upside though is it's very hot and uh, we'll go ride some other stuff and and uh, dry off probably fairly quickly. Yeah. I mean, we've got to be pushing it 100 degrees right now. One thing I like about Lagoon though too is there is a ton of shade. Like. They have done a really good job of having a lot of trees, a lot of shrubs. There's peacocks randomly. Here. So you can bring a blanket and set out and have a place to like hang out. You can see that peacock just hanging out. Where? Right there. Oh, totally missed it. Just sitting down. You're not supposed to go on this grass so right to get closer. And so, yeah, rattlesnake rapids on a hot day. It's a good, good way to cool off. It's dark out, our night's coming to an end. We'll just show you the last thing. They do have a new ride. They're uh, gonna open soon. They've been trying to get it open, I think, with 
COVID and everything else, it's just kind of put everything behind. It's called Primordial, if you can see it. You would have seen it a little bit earlier too, but it's a giant uh, uh, mountain. And anyway, should be a super ride, uh, fun ride. We, had, we do have a little bit of insider info that it's going to be, an there's a good shot of it, but an extremely fun ride. So hopefully we get to make it back here to Lagoon. Check that out. The kids had a blast. We had a blast. It was a wonderful day and uh, definitely if you're going to visit Utah, put Lagoon on the list. If you enjoy theme parks, it's a great place to go.